Hi, it's been a while, almost a full year since I've done a YouTube, but I've been thinking about this one for a while. And it's a redo on the tomato ring gnome that we see uh, on a lot of the YouTubes. And I just knew that there had to be a better way and I haven't seen this idea, so I wanna share. Uh, one of the things that they do is when they cut the tomato, when they cover the tomato ring, and they put the fabric around like this, it tends to sink in and you see these bars. So at first I was gonna put some wires through here to try to keep that circular shape in between these two circles. It's kind of hard to see, but everybody knows what a tomato ring is like, looks like. And I came up with a great idea. Instead of wrapping it this way, and I'm using these burlap rolls, we're gonna wrap it this way and it works. It works great. So uh, I'm gonna do a materialist at the end of this whole thing because even though I've tried a little bit of this before I did this video, I'm not 100% sure how many of these we need. I think it's gonna be four. They're from Walmart. I don't remember how much I paid for them because I've had them for a while. They're, um, let's see, three yards each, so nine feet, and right now I have four of them. I might need a little more, <clears throat> but what I'm gonna do is starting at the top, oh, <laughs> the other idea I had is all the tomato rings, the um, gnomes have the pointed hat because the tomato ring goes up and then they tape around the top of it. And I really wanted to do one of those gnome hats that kind of hangs off to the side. So I cut off the, the four extra pieces that are on the top. I did put some tape around the edges here because it was a little sharp, even though it's gonna be covered. Um, and also as you're working with it, uh, some of this uh, burlap starts to stick on the points. So cover your tips once you cut it off. Uh, it's not easy to cut off, I'll tell you that. I did, my husband helped me with a little electric, uh, do, not even a, like a little circular saw. And uh, I don't think you could do it with hand clippers, I'm not sure. But cut the four off, cover them with tape, and then what you can do is starting at the top, I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue to hold it there. And then, I'll show you, because I'm not gonna put you through watching this whole thing of how I did this before. Um, I'll, well, sorry, a little unorganized, but that's kind of normally how I do these. All right, just to show you, um, and that's another thing too. You can pin it and leave the pins in it really because you're, um, this is gonna be covered. You're not gonna see this top part. I did think about, since the hat's gonna be here, I did think about not using this uh, and the top part to try to save it. But when you wrap around the hat, once again, it starts to sink in. So this will now, as it gets pulled, it will hold it tight to keep the shape of the circle and then what you do is you pull at the bottom and you come up on an angle like this and you come over here like that and pull tight and then you can come down close to where you want to kind of keep them close and then back up through again pulling tight and I'm running out of uh, ribbon right now. So I'm gonna put a couple pins to help hold the back to the front. And what you'll be doing is adding on your next piece. I don't recommend doing this ahead of time because it's too, many, too much to deal with, <clears throat> too many rows to, or too many yardage to deal with. So uh, at this point, you could, well, you could pin if you're not wanting to bother with gluing or sewing, all of the above. But just to show you, it does work, uh, the pins, and they do hold, because I have I've did this earlier. But I do think uh, gluing or sewing is the way to go. And then once again, I'll just show you one more row. Come up and overlap, pull tight, and then come down again, and then back through and under. So as you see, it's actually, I thought about this earlier, 
If you left the top on, it actually could be a little bit of a Christmas tree. But for right now, we're going to work on it as a gnome. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap this whole thing, connecting each one of these. And I'm going to let you know exactly how many it took. Okay, I'm going to stop right here because I've come up with a way of uh, eliminating another whole entire roll. And I like to do cost effective when, when I craft. One of the things that I want to mention that I did do also is when I brought down the uh, roll of burlap and came to pull it up to the other side, it's very helpful if you put some pins in that to hold that pull because as you're unwinding and going up, it starts to loosen. So if you pin it at the bottom, you don't need to glue it, just pin it, then bring your next piece up around and then you can see, pin it again. And now I have the, I have those, uh, what did I say, three of them that I used. And look it, I'm just this much short from getting up there and back down. But I thought about something if you want, don't want to buy another entire roll. This, first of all, you can leave it open. It can be the back. Next, um, the, the hat is going to be coming over this anyway. So what I'm going to do right now sure you can see this. I'm going to cut this off in the back here and I'm going to glue it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'll cut it off right here while I'm waiting. Well, I have you on film. Sorry, I'm not a professional YouTuber, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm going to cut this off in the back here, give myself enough to glue it. And then what I thought of is I can take this piece right here glue it along this bar on the tomato cage. I'll pin it for this, just this moment to hold it there. Okay, and then run this down and tuck it in. Pull it, I'm gonna tuck it inside here so it overlaps inside, which there's room to tuck it in there, bring it under and glue that piece. And that way you don't have to buy another um, roll and that can be the back or the side. Actually, this is something else I want to mention. This is where I, have to, I had to add on. And I was thinking that's probably going to be my back, but now I think I'll put that on the side and where I add it actually, huh, actually and actually. Um, okay, I have a better idea. This is where the beard and the face are going to go, right there in the front. And then the back will be where I have this little seam or whatever you want to call it, part that I've glued it together. So I'm going to glue that over that, glue this under, tuck it in, and I think this is actually where the face should be. Why do I keep saying actually? <laughs> because it's actually gonna happen. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go over the couple of ideas I had for the hat. I really don't wanna use fabric. I wanna really make him look like most of the gnomes we see out there that have kind of a sweatery kind of hat on. And originally I had bought this sweater. I got it at the thrift shop. I thought it's gonna be perfect. And I'm going to share this idea with you, which I decided not to use. I decided I don't like the color of the sweater, but what my plan was is to take the, cut the sleeves off. So let's pretend we're doing that. And then stitch up or glue that, those two seams together. My thought was I could even use the arms uh, coming in on the side of the gnome, let's just say like this and hold something, which I still think, here, which I still think would be real cute to use the arms, but like I said, I decided not to use this and I'll show you what I decided instead. I, a lot of it has to do with the color. So my thoughts were, is to take this, put it over the top like this. Bear with me while I give you this idea that I'm not going to use, <laughs> but okay. So this would be stitched up on the sides like that. And the arms would be cut off. But as you can see, just as an idea that you could 
use these arms to come around like that and hold something, but that's not what, that's not what I'm going to show you right now. Then this would flip up and then pull this, pull this sideways over here and either tie it off on the side with some um, rope or I did have it where I had it pulled real tight and I had this with some also some like thick thick jute on it of course his nose would go in here and you could have it like that and then the two arms coming around but I don't know if I wasted too much of your time going over that but that's just an idea maybe even have an old sweater around the house speaking of old sweater around the house I had this one now this sweater is really like a sweater vest and I just love the color and I I really don't even wear this I live in Florida I don't even wear it so I started playing around with it and I'll show you what I came up with let me make sure that you see what it is all right so I came up with the idea of using this sweater bringing it around the back I'm going to do a lot of pinning because um, for now I'm just gonna show you and then it's gonna be either sewing or gluing or you could put safety pins and leave it in it if you wanted to. So the idea was to get this around here. And just kind of play with, you're actually just putting the uh, front of the sweater together so that you can use the bottom as the hat. Then, this big old piece right here. The idea was, where's the end of this thing? Here we go. Okay, so the idea is, is to bring, here, flip this up like this. I have some rope give you an idea this is not the final outcome all right but I'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit more but let's just for an example say there is his gnome hat and you work with it a little bit on however you want it I really wanted this up and then this coming down like that like the gnomes do and then have the, the nose in here. Well, lots happened in the last couple of days trying to put this gnome together because I had the whole thing together. I had all the videos done and I hated it. So I've now backed up and I'm starting kind of over. One of the problems was I did not like how it ended up where the hat was flat on the top. So I've taken everything apart. By the way, uh, everything was hot glued and the best way to get your hot glue off is with a hot hair dryer. It comes off right away, so everything came off. I have a couple spots that I could still melt the glue off a little bit more, but it's not gonna be seen. Uh, what I decided to do is I ran up to Dollar Tree and I bought a plastic colander. And, because it, it, it looked terrible, the hat was flat. It just didn't look right. And what I did is I took it from the inside and I stuffed it up there. Now, I pushed it initially with a yardstick because I couldn't get my arm up in there, but then I realized that I still had this little opening in here, which actually any one of these areas is open that you can stick your hand up, but this one was, you know, the best way to go. So I stuck my hand up there and I really pushed it tight. Um, I believe it's gonna stay and it's not gonna move. I think it's going to, um, it's really in there tight, but you can always take wire and put a wire around one of these white strips and then wire it to this up here, maybe four in the four corners to just get it to hold so it doesn't someday drop in. And um, that, I tried the sweater on the top of them and it does give a nice round head. There was a little bit of a, a dip 
where the edge of this came and then the colander started. I may take, I looked at this and I may take some, uh, my, I can't think, I may take some fiberfill, that's it. <laughs> and I may put some fiberfill just along there to kind of uh, make that edge a little smoother. I don't think it was a big deal, but I might do that. I never know what I'm doing. That's why my videos are just kind of, uh, they're very unprofessional. The other thing is, is these um, strips, um, they were floppy and open, and I'm okay with that. I want them to look like ribbony strips, but I also did decide to tack them with glue uh, around, and I put it right where the uh, wire is here because it was easy to push down. So it's, it's glued on every strip, but it's still loose in between. So maybe you wanna do that after you stick that colander in there because that way you can really push it up tight and it fits really good. It was a perfect circle for that. And then the other thing is before you start putting your uh, hat on, uh, make sure that you know where the front's gonna be, you know, where you're gonna put your nose and your beard. Decide because you do have some of these uh, pieces that you added on. Um, and I there's one down here here there's one down here also so make sure that you are going to keep that in the back i am going to use this v in here in the front and um i'm going to wire that right now on the top and then i'll be back to uh, put that hat on and talk about the beard show you how i wired that in um i took pipe cleaners and just pushed it through the little slit here ran my hand in between the burlap got the other piece to come through and then I actually twisted it right here on the end because what I want to do is just kind of shove those sharp little pieces down inside the little edge of this but those uh, four pipe cleaners is going to hold this that. part you don't really have to do if you don't want to but like I said I've already tried the hat on and there was a little indentation up here where it didn't go real smooth so I've taken uh, some fiber fill I kind of uh, rolled it in a in a in a long roll and I pushed it down on the edge between the colander and the top of the tomato cage and then since I already had those pieces of pipe cleaner coming out I just added I know it kind of looks like a mess but the hat's going to be over it I just added some pipe cleaners across so that when I pull the sweater over it doesn't move this batting too much uh, I will be able to take my hand up in there and adjust it when I get the hat on but I think that's just going to help hold it I am going to cut off all little pieces now. And the other thing I didn't mention is before I stuck the colander down in there, it did have some handles on it. So with just some heavy duty scissors, I cut the little plastic handles off and pushed it, uh, pulled it back up from the inside and pulled it back out like I showed you. You know, I had this whole thing already together and ripped it, pulled it apart, all the hot glue off of it. So I had the sweater already all glued together and on here. So. Fortunately, I just had to get the glue off here, lift it off, and I had the hat intact to put back on. So here's how it came out with it folded in the back. This is all hot glued, and this uh, border on that the sweater had enough to double up the edge. I'm still gonna, it's not to the burlap yet. It's just on top of the, uh, it's just holding right now. And so here is the middle of where I'm going to put the nose. And I have this Christmas ball of my Christmas tree. And I think it's a good size to use. Now, if you put it where the gold piece goes directly back in the back of this, then the line, there's a line on this that you can, there it is, that you can see that's right down the middle of his nose. So I'm going to tip it where I put the gold just slightly up like that and the line will be under so you can't see it. And I wanna lift it pretty high so that it looks like it's drooping over his nose. Now, the, and I'll hot glue that in there and I'm gonna hot glue all this to the sides also. Now, the other thing is I had this uh, piece of uh, fur and I believe I also saw it at Walmart. I don't remember where I got it at, but I believe I saw it at Walmart. So I cut a piece off. And by the way, when you cut your uh, fur, 
If you can, do it with a razor and don't go all the way through, just barely clip along the back because then you will leave the, the fur like that instead of cutting it off. And so I decided that I wanted the beard to be a little like on an angle coming down so it would come in like that because I really like that you're seeing the burlap so I didn't want to have it stretch out so it's actually on an angle coming in. I might even angle it a little bit more. So as you can see for right now, this is the goal, is to go like this, and get the beard on, and that's all gonna be glued. So here's almost the finished product. You just have to decorate them. Uh, I'm gonna, those are not glued on yet. I'm just gonna stick some snowflakes up there. I did stick some cotton batting in the end of his hat just to give a little fullness. I didn't mind it the other way either, but you could do whatever you want. And decorate them to match what's ever in your house or, you know, this could be your, um, end up being a gnome that you could make for any holiday, not just this one. It's just a tomato cage and just some ribbon and an old sweater. And in the uh, tie that I did on the end of his hat, I decided it needed a little something. And I had this little Dollar Tree pick. I cut it off and just wired, twisted a wire around the bottom so that I can stick it inside the knot right there. And I think that gives him a little bit more of a holiday look and the greenery adds a little bit of color. Uh, don't forget, you can also take a couple of arms off of a sweater. You could stuff them and pull them in here and have them holding something. And then you could reduce the size of his beard maybe and bring something down in here. That's up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little long. It was kind of unorganized. It was last minute thought. I kind of threw it together. And give me a thumbs up if you really liked it. Happy holidays.